In this video, I will explain how you can generate your signed APK bundle, which is required to publish your application on Google Play Console. So here you can see it is my Google Play Console and whenever I'm going to publish any of my application into this Google Play Console, it is asking me for an app bundles. Now let's try to generate a signed APK bundle. I will open Android Studio. First of all, I will verify if my application is working properly or not. So here you can see I have my emulator for Pixel XL. You can set up any device to test your application. So this is just an emulator, not an original device. Click on run app. Now this will start the Gradle build running. You can see currently it is in a running state. Once the Gradle build finish and if there are no issues, the application will be launched. Now you can see my application is launching. Make sure before generating a signed APK bundle, your application should be working normally because if your application is getting crashed frequently, then there are high chances that your application will be rejected from the Google Play Console. In my VPN application, I will select any location, then click on on and you can see the VPN status is connected means my application is working normally. Now let's try to close this application. I will click on this button. So it will stop my application. Application is stopped now. Then to generate and signed APK bundle, click on build, then click on generate signed bundle or APK. I'm going to generate Android app bundle. It is smaller in download size. There are multiple features like on demand app features, asset only modules. So select this option, click on next. Then after you will need to select your key store path. You can try to create your new or choose the existing one. I have already generated my key store path, but you can generate your new one. So click on create new. Select the path where you want to store your key. This is my home directory. I will just try to create my key store file here. Give it name as a demo, then save. So I have selected my key store path, then set up a password. You can select any password of your choice. I will select here password as a one, two, three, four, five. Confirm the password one, two, three, four, five. You can give any alias name to the key. It is same like username. I will give it as an admin. Then again, password for this one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Add information for the certificate like first name, last name, organization, unit. I will select here as a development. You can select anything. Give any name to the organization. Select the city or locality. Select the state, then country code, and OK. So it is giving me error that password must be at least six characters. So let's make it as a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same for the keystore path. Okay, so here you can see it took value for the key store password as well as key alias as well as key password from our key store path. If you don't want to enter this password again and again, you can simply click on remember passwords option, then click on next. Then if you want to release your application, then click on release, then click create. And here you can see gradle build running started. Thereafter, it will generate your signed APK bundle. So let's wait until the signed APK bundle gets generated. Now you can see it is showing me that generate signed bundle completed successfully. You can simply click on locate and find the path where your APK bundle is generated. Thereafter, open Google Play Console and into the production, go to release. Into the app bundles, upload your signed APK bundle here. And thereafter, you can roll out your application into the production. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.